Wow, this is nice. Picks up speed really fast. It got some pull. This is a powerful scooter. I recently reviewed a lot of scooters, different sizes, but this one feels so different. This is the Max Fun 10 Pro, and this new scooter has a name that I can easily pronounce. This is the first electric scooter in this size and this frame shape design that is 72 volts. And if you remember when I tested the Roadrunner RS5 Plus, I asked the brand to make this version in 72 volts configuration. And finally, this is the first team that did it. Of course, this model it's very similar to Roadrunner RS5, Titan, Vset, Mukura awesome leopard model that i recently reviewed but has slight changes and different tweaks in the design the frame has slightly different variations of design you can see here in the front it's slightly different and the foot rest part in the back and the lights on the side and the specs are very interesting here this model is priced at 2200 us dollars and i think it's pretty reasonable price considering the specs are getting and we have 1500 watts dual hub system and a 72 volts 24 amp hour battery very compact and we have this uh, pmt really nice quality tires really grippy and uh, i feel like this design looks so cool we should have slightly maybe one inch bigger tires and maybe half inch wider they look kind of like too narrow for this frame but performance wise this will give you the best range possible. The less friction, the narrower the wheel, the more range you'll get. So still, the grip is really, really good. So all screws are out. Let's lift this up and see what we have here. And this is actually really tight. It doesn't even want to move. So I'll have to get probably a screwdriver and try to pry this out. Yeah, it's a really, really well sealed here. So we have an aluminum panel, really heavy actually. I don't see any rubber gaskets. We need here a rubber gasket, look at this. So this is the inside, how it looks like. And we definitely need a rubber gasket. You see how all this dust gets in. Spacer here, so definitely different battery configuration. will allow to, you know, to use the space better spacer like the ls7 this foam little thing put this out here so this is the inside so i believe this is the lights and the controllers are right under nice uh, actually wire management here really nicely done neatly organized and let's see the battery so we have here all the information that you need 72 volts 117 28 watt hour 24,000 milliamps but again very important we need a gasket here rubber gasket to completely waterproof this top speed let's power this on have fully charged batteries we're gonna go on maximum speed level and we have dual engaged Oh, it grips well. Oh, look at that. It went to 90 right right away. Wow. It's very quiet. Very grippy. Ah, come on. The PMT tires are super grippy and so quiet. The acceleration is way more powerful compared to Roadrunner RS5 Plus. Powerful, but not as crazy as Makura 10 Plus, but way more smoother. The maximum speed is reached fast and it looks like it's limited to 72 km an hour or 44 miles an hour. The battery sags when I send it full speed. No steer dampener, but stable and very comfortable. The control and grip of PMT tires makes this super comfortable ride and you feel so much control wrench test the weather got so bad in new york city it is 45 degrees that's about 7 degrees in celsius during the test 
my weight fully geared up was 235 pounds and the first 20 miles I was able to go really fast and not stopping much of the lights but once I hit the traffic the last stretch I was able to ride between 15 to 23 miles an hour and I covered 32.7 miles in range which is not bad taking in consideration the conditions and my weight I estimate for my weight I should get about 40 to 42 miles in range in the summertime going uphill this scooter it's a beast accelerates really fast, keeps constant speed, and gradually just scrolls faster and faster. It's just so comfortable, so much control, and it's just pure fun. And it just feels super smooth. Front and back suspension, you have this uh, ring adjustability here. I like how the light is integrated into the frame. Here's a shot of the front suspension, the same shock as in the back. You have this uh, ring adjustability here in the front, really nicely done. This uh, fake carbon uh, fenders, front and back, that look pretty cool. Expansion bodice move, I think it's too soft the way it's set up right now, but makes the ride so plushy, so freaking comfortable. Same folding mechanism with the safety that we see in other scooters. Management is really nicely done here. Look how clean it is. And all of this, it's hidden right here into the stem. Front light, the same as the Roadrunner. We'll test this in the evening and see how it performs. And the grips, no hardware to secure them, but they're not moving. And uh, not that soft. The same console, NFC, car reader. The horn is not allowed turning signals, which is cool. Still very clean setup. I like the screen, very big, colored, easy to see and the same console that we've seen in the other scooters and we have a dead zone for safety we have the upgraded not hydraulic brakes which are awesome wiring again very clean in the front and the back look is going into the stem hidden nicely and it's coming here on the bottom this is really nicely done you see how clean it goes into the frame to the motor and it's hidden here in the arm and the brake here and the light comes separately so i feel like if you put this light on the top will be one uh, wire less here and it'll be even cleaner and there's more benefits to have light here up front and the top very clean and everything is exactly as it should and this kickstand spring-loaded and you can see here in the angle this is one of the best kickstands I've seen so far perfect angle doesn't move and you see how it's like lower positioned and opens up more so very good stability when you park your scooter, you don't have to worry about it uh, tilting over. When you close it, you can't even see it from the top, from the side. You're not gonna, you know, grab it with your foot. It tucks in inside. Very nice kickstand. The light, let's check quickly. So the front light, look how narrow it is. Not really, you know, useful at high speed. So it reaches far, but not much visibility here. So the same as the RS5. On the low end, we need the more powerful light, and as I mentioned earlier, it should be placed right here at the top so you have better visibility at nighttime at the high speeds. The side lights are very bright, and I like this rear brake light integration. Really nice, really bright. Now, the side lights are not engaged and not showing any braking, just the side turning signals, and only in the back nothing in the front front it's always on acceleration is not really grippy it goes zero to about 50 60 kilometers an hour really really fast this pmt tires are really comfortable really really grippy and uh, what's cool here the control almost like you know 70 kilometers an hour that's what 43 44 miles an hour maybe 45 i'm not sure but the thing is i don't have a steel dampener and this thing is actually pretty stable and this tires makes a big difference really good uh, grip good control a really comfortable ride and acceleration is nice like you can feel the power but it's gradually it doesn't spin too much it's there's a little bit of spin in the front but nothing like ls7 or mukuda it's like just stable so i feel like if you put the pmts on those models it would be even better the brakes are new so they have a little bit of uh, noise have to decontaminate them probably to remove that but uh really nice ride feels solid suspension very soft and makes the the ride super comfortable i think that's way too soft for my weight 
I'll have to, you know, compress the, the rings and uh, make it a little stiffer. But still, the way it came like that, it's really comfortable. This scooter stands out with 72 volt battery. The higher voltage increases efficiency a lot. The power delivery, it's way higher compared to RS5 Plus and Apollo Phantom, to name a few. But still, so much smoother. The sine wave controllers deliver 30 amp discharge, more than you'll ever need. The power delivery did not drop even at 20 to 10% battery capacity. And this is where 72 volt system on this light chassis makes a big difference. I was still riding pretty fast when the battery was dropping from 10 to 5% capacity. And the scooter died about 2.5, close to three miles in range. And all this time the battery was flashing zero capacity. The PMT tires are one of the best on the market and reduce the spin at aggressive acceleration, aggressive start and grip so much better compared to all other tires I've tried so far. Also allow you to turn more aggressively at higher speeds and still maintain high control when you lean low on sharp corners. The handling is great on the scooter and performance is above average. I would only like to see here a light that has much wider output, a rubber deck similar to the one that we saw on Leopard scooter and the rubber grip on the rear foot rest area. Besides that, the scooter is pretty much perfectly executed. The link will be down below in the description box, check it out. Thank you so much for watching, ride safe and I'll see you next time.